right, here's the top five welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was going to vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft, and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Paul Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exactly where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. Martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov, impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Khabib. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Straight there by Bilal Muhammad. Too easy for the Nagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition move was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's going to take you down. And he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up. And right away, he gets the fight exactly where he needs it to be. Side control now. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. Ooh, strong clip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. This could be the end of the fight. He gets out, though. Wow. Yeah, he did a great job of straightening his arm. And then when his arm straightened, he followed the momentum going in that direction to free himself from that Kimura attempt. 
Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Nermago Medov's in half guard now. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Making all these shots count. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Back him out now. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. Oh. Position. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. He was constantly under attack. The Travelers delight tonight. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of this back by Nermako Medov. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, nice right hand. brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Fight. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar time. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Well-placed kick there by Nermago Meta. Ooh, big shot, man. tonight, but taking the path of least resistance and really having his way on the ground. And, John, I think that points to the fight IQ. Knowing that you possess all the skills, but you stay in your wheelhouse. You take your opponent down over and over again and try to drown him. Habib has long said he would take you in the deep water. He has done that tonight, and that is why he's been so successful. Under 30 seconds. Our position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Oh, Second oh, round, straight ahead. Stop. All right, so the round is over. Certainly stunned his opponent in that round. We'll see if he can follow up here Great after job, 60 seconds. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of finding the shot that really did affect the equilibrium of his opponent. Now he needs to go back and find the attack that's going to shut the lights off. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Come all on. right, let's get to round two. Oh, nice jab by the Oh, he's hurt. Can't feel good. Nice transition. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. 
And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, as many expected, his grappling has been very strong thus far. The takedowns, the ground control, he is truly the total package. It's one thing to take your opponent down. It's one thing to control him, as we have seen him do over the course of this fight. You need to work on this position. Muhammad's in half goal. There it is. Now he's on the mountain. Big right hook there by the champ. Great job landing from the top position. Posturing up now. Oh, huge elbow. 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 Massive shot lands. It's over, John. Fight's done. to avoid that strike from the top. Create a scramble, let's go! Habib's trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. A series of punches from the top here by Nermago Medov. Oh, beautiful transition right into side control. The ground strikes continue to pile up. spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's gotta be careful. He's gotta be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. All right, right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. That was a slick transition. Crowd always laughs when they go north-south, DC. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Khabib's back in full length. Well, shades of Anthony Showtime Pettis against Tony Ferguson just masked in blood. This is not looking good. Yeah, it was, it was like all Ferguson fighters, right? He would huh. just destroy people. And that's exactly what he looks like right now. He looks like he has been on the receiving end of all the elbows thrown by Tony Ferguson. His cut is really bad. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? 
Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. options I would think at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. Great shot from the top position. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Muhammad's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Nermago Medoff. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. And very effective with the ground and pound. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. Another ground and pound strike lands. <laughs> Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. He's setting up the arm bar. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Oh, he's got his back. All oh, right to the mount. Nurmago met off ground and pound from half guard now. Under two minutes to go. Got to spot. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Medov. Let's go. Get him off you. Get him off. He's having his way with him here. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this after? Right? Yeah, this is this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Muhammad's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Final seconds of round three. Well, 
working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Medov. Right. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. Stop, stop, stop. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. We got a cut, and he's cut too. We knew this was gonna be a bloody fight. The launch to You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter the seminal championships? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Positional control here. In the half guard. Marco Madoff's going for the sub here. Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Well, I don't think his corner is going to step in right here, back. but maybe the referee right will back. take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. His eye is done. He's been beat up. He got cut early in the fight, and he's just been targeted in that area. He has not made any, any changes to his defense, so he's continuing down this path. The doctor's going to take a look. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Khabib's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Win this scramble! Look at that. Recognize who's about to lose position. Just over three minutes to go. Now he's going full mode. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Man, a beautiful strike. Good work from the top here by Delago Meadow. He hasn't moved on the bottom, and now he's starting to swell after he takes another ground and pound strike. He's got to start throwing down. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Under two minutes to go. Setting up for an arm lock now. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working towards the finish. Oh, come on! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him 
that puts them in danger in finishing fights. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. For the winner, by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle Nagomera. Oh, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer, Khabib Nurmagomedov, the winner by submission here tonight. This man is completely unstoppable, and he proved as much yet again tonight. Wow. He proved it again.